not every is created equal. What makes a goal a goal? And what makes it a golasso? All goals are good. They're like dogs and pizza. By simply existing, a goal is a moment of bliss. Own goals, tap-ins, scuffed shots, deflections, it doesn't matter. When the ball hits the back of the net, it's cause for celebration. But if you've watched a 2018 World Cup match on a Spanish language network like Telemundo, and you really should, you may have noticed the commentators christen some goals with a little more pizzazz. Let's check out Luis Suarez's goal against Saudi Arabia in the group stage. This certainly wasn't the best goal Suarez has ever scored. The Saudi Arabian goalkeeper completely misreads the corner and the ball falls conveniently at Suarez's feet. All the star striker has to do is make contact to give Uruguay the lead. Still, a goal's a goal. And so Telemundo commentator Eduardo Biscayard bequeathed it a hearty, lung-draining... Now, compare it to Nacho's thunder spank against Portugal. Andres Cantor, the legendary broadcaster who made the goal call famous in North America, knows exactly what he's just seen. First, he tells us the obvious, that it was a... But then he adds some sauce. This isn't merely a goal, it's a... In Spanish, the suffix aso means huge. A golazo, then, is a mega goal. In other words, something really worth shouting about. If a moment of incredible skill led up to the goal, that's a golazo. If a player whacked the die off the ball, that's a golazo. Or if the goal came at a supremely important moment, that is a golazo, golazo, golazo. So, who gets to decide what constitutes a simple goal versus the majestically transcendent golazo? Well, the man with the microphone, of course. A golazo is crowned in the moment, and the announcers are almost never wrong. Madre mía, qué golazo acaba de marcar el Madrid. It's like the Supreme Court's old stance on porn. You know it when you see it. Though I'd argue that some golazos are way nastier than even the raunchiest smut. The traditional drawn-out goal call has been around for ages. In 1946, Sao Paulo radio announcer Rebelo Jr. delivered the first known instance of the lung bursting. He was imitating the fans in the stands who would bellow this cheer as a way to inform the folks outside the stadium who couldn't get tickets about what had just happened. The word golazo, meanwhile, predates Rebelo Jr.'s call, at least in print. Earliest instance I can find is from 1943. Uruguayan star Severino Varela scored a goal for Buenos Aires club River Plate, in which he dove full stretch and headed a long pass he had no business reaching into the back of the net. Buenos Aires newspaper Cronica dubbed it El Golazo del Misterio, the mystery super goal, as in, how the hell did he head that in? The beauty of the Golazo is that it doesn't take anything away from its less inspired brothers and sisters. All goals are worth the same on the scoreboard. Some just get a few extra syllables or a few extra tears. Goal, 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 goal.